Listen, I want everybody to pay attention. I did this video before. This is very important to understand. This whole thing about this XEX -E trafficking scandal. Now listen, a lot of people remember when Diddy allegedly got fired from Uptown Rutgers, remember? Allegedly he got fired because of the stuff that happened with the people at City College. I think that happened in 89 or 90, I don't know. Either way it goes, he allegedly got fired and Clive Davis allegedly gave him his own record label. But on Mary J. Bly's first album, which came out in the 90s, Diddy produced that album. If you notice, this says Polydor Ruckers. I know a lot of you guys are like, what does Polydor Ruckers have to do with this? Polydor is a British record label and a company that operates as part of Universal Music Group. Pay attention. I'm not some type of conspiracy theorist. What I keep telling you, okay, here it is. Polydor Limited, also known as Polydor Records, is a German British record label. You know, Hitler was German too. Just pay attention. British record label that operates as part of Universal Music Group. If you notice that every time something happened to, like when Diddy needed to be in jail, but when the stuff happened to Jeffrey Epstein, keep in mind, Chris Lane Maxwell is not an American citizen. If I'm not mistaken, she's from British, from Britain. She's also very good friends with Prince, um, what's the guy's name? Is it Prince Andrew? Okay, listen, the queen's son. She's a very good friend of these people where she was at the royal wedding and all this stuff. Even after a lot of scandals broke out. Pay attention. Germany, not all Germans, but if you pay attention to Donald Trump, Donald Trump does a lot of rhetoric like Hitler. Just listen. Donald Trump has been friends with Diddy since way back in the 90s. If you ever go back and watch the interview with him and Oprah Winfrey, he said that he's a Democrat, but if he was to ever run for president, he was run as a Republican because he know he will win. It doesn't mean that he hates all black people. It just means he know how to go about winning because anybody that knows Donald Trump's dad knows that he was allegedly a very known racist. Just pay attention. Universal Music Group owns Polydor Records. But I keep telling a lot of you guys, Janice Combs had two sisters. Although these people in my comments are trying to mix you up, I'm telling you it's true. You can Google it. One of the sisters' name was Janae. Their, their, bio, their, um, their um, biological name is Smalls. S-M-A-L-L-S. People want, this is just my thought on this part. The reason why I think it's easy for Diddy, allegedly, to not give Miss Wallace all the rights is because remember Biggie Smalls' name that was registered as an artist. He was no tourist big, but when he first came out, they used to call him Biggie Smalls. And then they had to allegedly change the name because it was allegedly another rapper named Biggie Smalls. If you Google this and everybody's wondering why the FBI is so suddenly, suddenly what you guys think is suddenly, but if you listen to my channel, go back and watch the old videos. I told you, I said Biggie, Sean Diddy Combs has family, allegedly has a lot of family, which his original last name would be Combs, I mean Smalls. This is his mother's dad and her maiden name, Smalls. So if I name an artist Biggie Smalls and I'm stealing money, if you Google Biggie Smalls and put UK, then you will see what's going to come up. I'm not going to tell you what's going to come up because I'm not trying to get an innocent person named somebody, but you can look it up. Polly doing Rutgers. There is an old man by the name of Edward Smalls, who I believe to be, this is just my beliefs from my research. I believe 
the Edwards Malls. I want to do this so you can look it up with me. Because a lot of you guys are like thinking I'm just talking. I want to look this up so you can see it yourself. And even people with bigger platforms, feel free to, um, you know, use whatever you have to use. I just want you to see something. There's a black man by the name of Edward Smalls. Okay, see right here where it says, there's a man by the name of Edward Smalls Jr. that's 65 that allegedly lives on Browning Road in Charleston, South Carolina. This is according to the Fair Use Act. This is public information. I can share this information. But that man right there would only be 65. Diddy is allegedly 54, 55 years old, right? So that means that this couldn't possibly be that man because Diddy's mother is 80-something, right? Pay attention. So I don't know if this is Edward Alexander Smalls Jr., who would be Diddy's uncle? Would he be his uncle? I don't know what he would be. That would be, yeah, that would be Janice's brother. But they had a sister by the name of Janae Smalls, who was two years older than Janice Smalls. But it's believed that Janae Smalls, the one that was two years older, is the one who was actually allegedly Puffy's biological mother. Someone in my comments said that the lady who was Puffy's real mother, according to people on the streets of New York, maybe some New Yorkers could chime in, was allegedly taken out of her when his dad was taken out because they both was allegedly snitches. Informants, actually. I don't know if that's true. I do know for a fact that that person is supposed to be dead. You can look it up. It's going to show. But I want you to see something. Puffy was born into this. I keep telling you guys. Puffy granddaddy, alleged granddaddy, or his uncle, but I think this is his dad. I had his video on my channel, so you can look and see I made this video months ago. Smalls Paradise Jazz Club in Harlem. Edwin Smalls. Pay attention. That's an Edwin and an Edward. But they call him Ed. But this Edward person... I mean, the one that I think is Diddy, grandfather name is Edwin. The Edward person passed away uh, a few years back. He was born in June 17, 1920, in Burford, South Carolina. Janice Combs them are from South Carolina. They're not from New York. This man right here migrated to New York City, got hooked up with some gangsters, some mafia type of people. Listen. I'm not making this shit up. He got hooked up with some mafia type of people. He was the only black man that owned a club. Now the cotton club, his club outlasted the cotton club and everything. He had a lot of celebrities that was African-American coming there. And back then, it was sort of unheard of for black people and white people to actually be sitting in the same place. But at this club, they did. Now look at this, Smalls Paradise Entertainer Smash Your Baggage. I can't play that, you can find it on YouTube. And I can share this, this is from the charlestonmagazine.com. According to the Fair Use Act, I can share public information and public publications for educational and entertainment purposes. This is not for entertainment because as you see, it says Billie Holiday. Everybody knows what happened to Billie Holiday. Everybody knows what happened to Josephine Baker. Allegedly, Josephine Baker, they tried to pimp her out and sell her to a bunch of white men. Billie Holiday became a junkie. Ex-Mayor Jimmy Walker and a pastor and a politician, Adam Clayton Paul Jr. Smalls also gave Malcolm X one of his first jobs. Malcolm X used to be a pimp and he had a white hole. And that's true. He's also be allegedly a junkie before he went to prison and converted to Islam. He got killed in uh, New York City. In the ballroom, I'm not gonna name the ballroom. This shit is deeper than a lot of people think. A lot of people think that Diddy just came into this. Let me show you something else. This is the man that's allegedly supposed to be 
Janice Cole's father or either her uncle. Edward Smalls only had one brother. Their brother, in my opinion, is Edwin, E-D-W-I-N, Alexander Smalls. It's too much of a coincidence for this Edward Smalls, who was 90-something years old. They lived for a long time in their family, and this man lived very long. Stay with me. Give me 30 seconds. I'm going to show you something that's going to, it's going to probably screw you guys around. Like, hold on. We're going to show this. Edwin, let's go. We got to put Ed Smalls. Ed Smalls, watch this. Stay with me. Ed Polidor. Because he got fired for payola. While all of us think that payola is something new, Edward Smalls got fired for payola. Here we go, right here. Give me one second. Polydor Rutgers is still on, what does that say? Kings Cross London, United Kingdom. Okay, Smalls Paradise. I want to show where Edward Smalls got fired. Let's see if we can find this. Hold on. It says Smalls Paradise. Get to know, we want to get his ass at the, uh, hold on. Which records label? Hold on, you guys. Polydor Records. Okay, hold on. We got to find him. See right here, look at this. This is how you know it's the same person. Alexander Small's wife. Would Alexander Small be Edwin Alexander Small's and Frank Lucas' wife? Let's just look at this. It says, let's go to Polydor Records artists first. Oh, you know, they're owned by Interscorp. Boom, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. <laughs> Y'all know I'm originally from St. Louis, just trying to get them people a shout out. Um, Black Pink, Ice Spice, Eminem, Lena Del Rey, Selena Gomez, Abba. Hold on, there's more. These people are still on Polydor as of, this is 2024. Ice Spice. Let's get to the artist. Hold on, I want you guys to see this for yourself. See, this is what people don't tell you. Look at this. Remember Freddie Mercury, the man they claimed they had A-I-D-S. The Beatles. Miley Cyrus. Her life just been in... Let me just be quiet. I don't know who these people are lit. Spears. Enrique Iglesias, who's been on there forever. Black Pink, Ice Spice, Eminem. So Eminem is on Polydor Records. Although he's always with Jimmy Iovine, I've always thought he would just sign directly to Interscope. Now, I want you guys to see something else. Hold on. In case I'm, I'm going to just make this a short video, I'm not going to give you the whole site. I want you guys to do your own research because I don't really have enough time to do this video all over. I've already done this video. This is probably Dora Ruckus loading up. Hold on. Now, they may try to sue me. Let's, let me see this. Ready for this? Polydor Ruckers. These, this is what you see when you click on Polydor Ruckers website. Who is that? Remember they said that they, a certain person said he tried to save Billie Eilish? Yeah, you guys know who I'm talking about. Google it. Is this the man that was at that Diddy party when he said this is what he do to white boys? Why do all these people look very gothic? Why do all of these people look very, very gothic? Oh, hold on, you guys. A lot of these people, we've never heard of them. I've never heard of these people. I'm sure many of you guys have, probably have. I have not. Um, who is this person? Let's see who this is. Her name is D-O-E-C-H-I Doshe. And this person's name is, let's see who this is. Is African American man. Destroy Lonely. Oh, look at that. Is this, hold on, guys. This is Polydor. Is this Dr. Dre? Does that say Dr. Dre? Let's see if that's Dr. Dre picture. I know it is because I just seen this picture pop up. There he is, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, the same one. It's always with that accused um, pedo um, sexual assaulter. Accused, that is. He's innocent until proven guilty. Jimmy Iovine, that nobody wants to... I don't know why Eminem keeps singing about Puffy because there go Demi Lovato. She's a real, real piece of work. Um, Although people try to pray, so I don't know why they do. Here's my girl right here. Ellen May. That's Ellen May. Eliminee, whoever that is. Somebody named Ellie Goulding. 
Oh, oh, wait a minute, everybody. Glorilla. Glorilla signed to Polydor? I did not know that. I did not know that Glorilla was signed to Polydor, but in case you have any doubt, it says Glorilla. Oh, no. Here's another one, Glenn Stefani. Haim. Hold on. Here's your boys, Guns and Rose. You know what happened to them. There's Ice Spice. Oh, they got everybody on this channel, uh, on this record label. Who is that? Y'all know who that is. Let's get his name so you can. J. Cole. J. Cole, you signed to Polydor Records too, huh? You know, now they say that that boy, Lucien Grains, took over Interscope, but I want you guys to understand something. This is Polydor UK, United Kingdom. Um, it was small work for Polydor. He got fired because, allegedly got fired because he was involved in a big payola scandal. Google it. And that is allegedly Puffy's granddaddy or allegedly Janice Cole's father. Whether or not it's Puffy's real grandfather, I have no idea because I don't think that Puffy... Janice Combs is Puffy's real mother. I can't find nothing proving that. I could find something proving that she, that person that's allegedly Janice Combs, that may be actually Janae Combs, that I believe that the lady pretending to be, that may be pretending to be Janice Combs is actually Janae Combs, and I believe that Janice Combs is really dead. Have a good day.